and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. I'm Special K. It's not we're going to be drinking death. 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 This, this is ri- Rivertown. <laughs> this is Rivertown uh, death. Uh, it is a Russian Imperial Stout with Jalakia peppers, which I believe are ghost peppers. Can I have the bottle opener? Oh, that's right. I, already, I already threw it at you. Uh, it is 11.7% alcohol by volume. Why wouldn't they just call it ghost peppers? Ooh. What? It's got a little peppery. Okay. What? I don't know about this. I need to know. What? So this is probably, uh, we got it about 50... Got it about what, 54 degrees? Uh, we left it out of the refrigerator for just a little while uh, to let it come up from uh, what, 40 something degrees inside yeah. your refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna, okay, I'm not gonna take this. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go, go in for it. This is mine now. Um, yes, so Ghost Pepper Stout. Uh, uh, you can just barely see some light through it. Uh, not really in mine, but uh, it has a brown head. We're gonna call that brown. Uh, I get a little pepperiness in there uh, from the peppers, a little heat. Uh, it smells like a little bit boozy. It I mean, does it is 11 ish percent. What did you say? What is like 11. 11, 7. 11. 7%? it? 11.7. 11.7 percent. It reminds it's, me of no. some of the other pepper beers we had uh, with the, the pepper smell, and then it smells like an imperial stout, so it's a little roasty. Uh, some coffee notes on there. It's not got very much pepper in it. I feel like this might this oh, might find out. be consumable by humans. It's actually quite nice. It's got some heat on there though. Hmm. So the the heat is still building. I'm I'm waiting for it to finish before I say, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Um, it's a pretty good stout. No, it's just pretty. That's pretty drinkable, actually. I like I like how the heat um, it just tickles your tongue at first, and then it slowly builds um, towards the back of your throat. I can see if you drank the entire beer, you'd probably be feeling it. Oh yeah. Um, um, it but, tastes boozy and it smells boozy, so it's it's gonna it's gonna knock you down. It's it's the spicy is interesting because you're drinking it, so it doesn't yeah. give you the same. Uh, you don't get the same. Um, Feel as you would if you ate like a hot wing or something really spicy yeah. food. Yeah, it, well, it doesn't it doesn't sting the outside yeah. of your mouth and and like eating something spicy does. But um, it's it's still a little bit spicy. It's not super spicy. I thought when it, when he said that that was supposed to be ghost peppers, I was like, oh god, here we go. This is my last review. We're gonna both die. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, if you're not if you're not a we both really enjoy hot foods. So I mean, this is pretty. It's pretty spicy, but it's not like... I mean, it's not going to make me tear up or anything or have to go get a glass of milk. I mean... It's so thin. Like, I expect it to be much thicker, and it tastes like it needs to be thicker. Um, it tastes beer, like it needs to be, The beer itself like, is pretty good. I think the, the peppers are subtle. You feel, you feel the heat on your tongue as you're drinking yeah. it, which is cool. Um, it actually complements the beer. I did not expect that to happen. Like, it works pretty well with Pilsners. I did not expect it to work at all with a stout. Um, I guess sweet and savory, hot. I guess, yeah, but yeah. Um, it's it's uni- It's very very unique, and I'll give props for that. And the heat is still there. Yeah, but it's, it's still. Like, it's not bothering me in any way. But it's it's just. It's, I feel like people who don't eat spicy food on a regular wait, basis. This would hurt though. Yeah. This well, I'd would say it hurt. This would hurt my wife. Like she she's not big spicy. This would probably hurt. It's time to experiment. Um, <laughs> um, for me, I think it's I think it's a good heat level. But uh, for me, like realistically, would I drink an entire bottle of this? Absolutely not. This no. is kind of novelty thing. I think I would bring it to my friends and be yeah. like, "Hey, split it three check ways. this out. It's cool. It's just so thick. I mean, maybe cook with it too. I mean, that would be cool. Hamburgers. Yes. Pan fried hamburgers. Actually, they'd be like braised, but who cares? That sounds amazing because it would impart a little. We're getting into that too much. Um, yes. Uh, what would you rate this? <laughs> uh, it's very unique, so I'm going to give points for that. Um, Flavor is okay on it. I just don't see how this is a... It's not drinkable. Um, but it's 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 good. It's just so weird. I don't know. It's hard to rate it's this. It's very strange. I'm going to give it a six and a half because I think it has good flavor. Um, but it's it's impractical. It's an impractical beer um, other than it's, it's novelty. It's what I feel. It's a novelty beer. So something to bring out to your friends once. Hey, here you go. I can't see somebody drinking this on a regular basis. Without destroying some kind of their, their esophagus some, something or something. Something in them, yeah. yeah. Something in them would slowly die. Um, see, I wanna, I'm going to give this a 7. I think it's shelf shock alone. Like, you, you go into the, the beer store and you're walking down the aisle and you see this beer called Death. 
that's what I did. I was like, that's called death. Uh, the shelf shock value alone is is is, is kind of impressive, um, and it, it kind of lives up to its name. I mean, it's. I'm still getting a little bit of tingle from the spice. I'll give um, it. I'll give it this. It's probably the hottest pepper beer I've had. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I, I agree I think with that. It, and I hate the, you know, even though I love Nacho Bay, um, I think it does the pepper better. Nacho Bay is far cheaper than this, too. It's actually the same price. Is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, Seven ninety nine. I like it because it's the, the blonde ale. Yeah. With the it's, more, it's more but drinkable. This is about this beer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that the spiciness goes with this really well. Um, they, they made an excellent choice. Uh, that's why it's deserving of a seven. What I recommended, uh, if you're in a... If you want something hot, you want a pepper beer, sure, it's worth a try. Um, yes. If you're a pepperhead, this isn't going to phase you. Uh, if you're not into spicy things, this will probably light you up. Yeah. Um, but the burn is still there all the way down to my esophagus. I suggest, you try this. Yeah. I suggest you try this just because it's it's pretty good. It's I, would pretty try, good stout. I would try it on shock value, yeah. It's a pretty good stout, honestly. Um, and if, if peppers are not going to like end your life, then you'll probably enjoy it even more. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.